वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग विजुअलाइजेशन चैनल प्रॉब्लम नंबर 23 फ्रॉम कैट सॉल्यूशन बुक ए फ्रस्टम ऑफ कोन डायमीटर 50 टॉप डायमीटर 25 एंड हाइट 50 एम एम इज प्लेस सेंट्रली ऑन ए स्क्वेयर स्लैब सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू नो व्हाट डू मीन बाय फ्रस्टम फ्रस्टम मींस इट इज नथिंग बट कट पोर्शन ऑफ द सॉलिड ओके कट पोर्शन ऑफ द सॉलिड टू ए पर्टिकुलर हाइट सो हियर यू कैन सी हियर इट इज ए फ्रस्टम ऑफ कोन I am going to write that how it is look in front view. So here in the frustum, it consists of frustum of cone. It consists of two circle here. One is 25 mm top circle, and the base circle here it is 50 mm diameter. Okay. So and it is having a uh, there are two circles which are at a height of 50 mm given in the question. That means both the top and the bottom part will be the circles which is of diameter given in the question. Place centrally on a square slab of 80 mm side and thickness 30. So first diagram we have to construct that is a square slab. Square slab uh, dimension given side of 80 mm and height that is thickness given that is 30 mm. Okay. So above it we have to construct the second diagram that is our frustum of cone. okay in order to construct the frustum of cone they have given the dimensions here so base diameter given it is 50 mm okay base diameter 50 and top diameter 25 mm okay and height also given height it is 50 mm okay so first uh, we need to construct in isometric that is our square slab okay square slab first uh, uh, i will be drawing one horizontal reference line Okay. Okay. To construct the square slab, they have given the dimension 80 mm side. That is 80 mm box we have to construct. So here, square slab will be constructed using box method. Okay. First, I will be drawing one horizontal line. Okay. Horizontal line. Okay. Mark one reference point here. So here 8 mm means eight boxes we have to count. So eight boxes. Okay. So join all these uh, points. Take a box here. I try to jo uh, join a straight line. Okay, so I again count uh, eight boxes and mark a point, and then connect now. Okay, now we have to give the thickness here for this box. Okay, and it is you can see all these lines were uh, at an angle of thirty degree. We can show this thirty uh, degree angle. Okay, and here given it is thickness thirty. Thirty means three boxes. Vertical height we have to consider. Thickness means it is nothing but height. Okay, three boxes you can mark here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here also one, two, three. Okay, draw the vertical lines here. now connect this uh, top end points with the box here okay so here square block it is uh, completed okay now we have to uh, complete this frustum of cone for this they have given base diameter top diameter and height Okay, on the top of this uh, square slab, we have to place the base of 50 mm. For this, uh, we will be using subtraction method. Okay, subtraction of box method. We can see that. See, subtracting the boxes here, uh, we have top box of 80. So we need to subtract with the 50. 80 minus 50 means it is 30 mm. So it is on either side means 15 mm. So we need to subtract the 80 mm box. Okay. 
so at a distance of 15 mm okay we can write 15 mm easily on the top box of 80 15 here 15 here okay again 15 here 15 here 15 15 you can mark easily okay now we need to draw the where we have marked these points right we will be drawing with the thin lines here okay now we'll get another box here another box inside what we get that is of dimension 50 mm okay 50 mm now here uh, we have to construct a circle circle uh, when it is constructed in the isometric okay it will be constructed as a ellipse here okay ellipse so we will be using four arc by center method so using so draw the ellipse so here as we know the circle will be converted as an ellipse here so ellipse will be constructed using four arc by center method four arc by center method you can say that okay first i will be marking the midpoint of this 50 mm okay so mark the midpoint here of the inside box exactly midpoint at uh, two and a half you can mark now draw the lines here four lines you need to draw okay okay so we have drawn the four lines here now measure this line and draw an arc here we have to draw an arc Okay, now taking that as a reference point okay you can subscribe to the channel and hit on the like button and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited okay these are all the problems uh, in the CAD solution book uh, it is very helpful for the first year engineering students so they are uh, studying this engineering graphics or computer aided engineering drawing subject now we have completed the the base diameter 50 that is we have drawn an ellipse here now by taking 50 mm uh, the inside box so we have to consider the height here now the height of so 50 so count the boxes so here the box count it is uh, coming from exactly the center of it so count five boxes and again here we need to construct another box of 50 okay from there we'll sub again subtract so that we'll get another box of 25 okay now i'll be drawing another box here box of 50 by 50 at a height of 50 mm okay just we need to count here don't draw vertical lines if you draw the vertical line it will become prism okay so it will become prism So connect it with the thin lines here so box of 50 by 50 you got it now here uh, the top diameter it is 25 so but we have drawn a 50 again uh, now subtraction of box method 50 minus 25 means it is 25 so you have to subtract on either side means it is 12.5 12.5 mm we have to mark you can see on this uh, the top box so this is 10 here so 10 means it is 12.5 here we have to mark in the same way here also 12.5 we have to mark okay on this side also we have to mark 12.5 okay here also on the top box we have to mark 12.5 here also 12.5 okay 12.5 we have to mark now draw the lines where we have cut it exactly at 12.5 try to connect with these uh, lines so that we get a another box of uh, 25 mm
Now you can see the inside uh, we getting a box of 25 mm okay the inside box will consider that as a reference yeah those are those the corner points of that particular box so mark the midpoints now again we use the 4 arc by circle method 4 arc by center method to construct the another ellipse because that is a first term of the cone okay in a first term of cone we have both top and bottom will be the circle so when it is constructed in the isometric it is becoming as a ellipse okay so subscribe to my channel and hit on the like button and share it to maximum students so that they can be benefited okay draw an arc here to construct the same way how we have constructed the bottom ellipse right same method we have to do it now draw horizontal lines connecting the corner points here so now join here and in tangentially you can draw here ok so that completes the problem so here you can see we have completed both this is nothing but your square slab and this is your first term of cone thank you all thank you for watching the video subscribe to my channel and share it to maximum students so that they can be benefited thank you guys